Okay, th this is gonna get like much more raw. I was sitting in church recently on a Sunday and the pastor was talking about something completely different. But then in the midst of talking about this story in the Bible, he said something that was so profound in the way it hit my heart. He said, go into the world and tell the world what God has done. One of the greatest things that God's ever done for me was saving my marriage. I was broken and yet I was successful. I was a hollow shell of a human being and yet I had a house and a Mercedes and I was spending money. I, I just had this huge gap. And as the result of an almost failed marriage, God found me, I found God, and my life began to change. And so in this moment in church, I heard so clearly that it was time for me to finally go serve professional, successful businessmen uh, that are married. I just started to feel this, this deep burning desire, and I'm talking in the last week, to sell out into that audience, to give it everything I have, to help them to see that men need to be strong and courageous, but it's not about the size of your bicep or how many abs you have that defines whether or not you're a man. A man needs to be a provider, should be successful to the best of their ability, but that doesn't necessarily mean that every great man is gonna make six or seven figures. A man needs to be a protector, but that doesn't mean you're the tough guy that goes around fighting everybody or goes to war at every beck and call. But it is the man that stands up to protect his family, that will lay his life down for somebody else, and that will go to war to defend the least of these or the weaker person out there. And so these, this is all coming together so fast. I've created this challenge. It's kicking off at the beginning of March called uh, Restoring Your Manhood. That's gonna be an exciting five-day challenge of live video training uh, into a 30-day uh, private community. So I'm excited for that. Uh, that we'll run that a couple of more times throughout the year. And there's a lot of other opportunities out there, but as excited as I am to serve that community, to serve that group of people, I think I'm way more fired up about the fact that I've found clarity in something that I knew early on and I feel like I just kind of lost my way in and I found my way back. So I'm super pumped about that. Can't wait to share more of that with everybody. But I want to hear it again a little different. You want to hear me explain why it's important to me? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think that would okay. be good. Because you said, hey, this is what happened. I, I had this experience and now I understand where I can serve. Okay, th this is going to get like much more raw. I grew up, and, and this isn't everybody's story, but I grew up with a father that was only available to me every other weekend for about 15, 20 years of my life, from the time I was six until I was in my early 20s. And so I didn't have the guidance, I didn't have the direction, uh, the leadership on what it was to be a man. And my mom did the best she could, but she just didn't have it all figured out. Of course, right? It just wasn't her place in society. And so I'm passionate about helping people to restore some of that brokenness. But it's far beyond that. Whether or not we've gotten to a place where we've kind of got it figured out or maybe we've been able to fight against some of the negative connotations of manliness in the world and we're leaning more into the positive, one of the things that I think is the scariest is to be alone. And most guys won't admit to this. Like when it comes to communities of women, which it's so amazing to see the way they band together, they support each other, they rally around each other in their deepest and darkest times. Guys go into their own corners or they get together and they don't talk about anything. And I know that there has been times in my life early on in my marriage when I was struggling. And so instead of turning to a healthy community, I turned inward. And then I just started acting out in ways that I felt were okay for me. And guys will find themselves in places like this. And so instead of, because I was dissatisfied with my wife or frustrated with her for some reason, I would just look at porn and masturbate. 
And, and, and guys, gonna, some guys gonna hear this, most of you are gonna hear this right now and think to yourselves like, dude, what are you even talking? Why would you talk about that? That's my point. Where are you going with your problems? What happens when you wanna leave your wife now? Do you have anybody that's actually helping to tell you that you're making a significantly terrible decision? What about when you're struggling in your business? It's awesome to get together in the masterminds when we're talking about scaling our businesses and making more money, but what happens when you fail? What happens when you're, when you're going out of business? Who do you turn to then? We don't have communities of men that are supportive of each other in those deep, sometimes dark, emotional moments. We don't even tap into our emotions. I wish somebody was there for me or I wish that I sought somebody out in those times. And so I wanna create an environment that's more than just helping guys get to where they wanna go, but it's helping them where they're at because that's something that I was missing in my life. You don't have to throw your entire self in the pool at once. You can dip your proverbial toe into the water. And what I mean by that is, is start small. Step into something like the challenge where all you're gonna do in the beginning is be in a private community, receive training, and take your own action. If you decide you wanna participate by asking questions, by contributing wisdom to other people that may benefit from you sharing, then you can do that too. If you wanna engage and text with me along the way and ask more questions, you can do that as well. And maybe one day we're engaging one-to-one. -one. But again, this isn't something that you have to do all at once. It's just about breaking through and taking that first step in order to see what's on the other side. And then little by little, allowing you to step in. I mean, could you imagine if I talked about vulnerability and even empathy and compassion for where you're at? And again, like weird guy words, but can you imagine if I talked about all those things and then once you got in, I just muscled you around and just shoved you into where I thought you needed to go? That's not the way this works. Step in, be you, and allow yourself to be uh, entrenched in over a period of time, not all at once.